All right, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and where am I going? This is Satoru Marsh, this is Xenoblade Chronicles, and it looks like I have to go up here. Does it? I think I have to go up there, and those are some really big crystals growing out of the walls. Hmm. Uh, these look like some new enemies that I can beat up. Maybe they can beat up me, who knows? Wind Nebulae. Let's do this. That took a long time. That was like a six or seven minute battle. Okay. Um, I assume you dropped loot and I assume I can't see it because it's in the water. Oh well. Now where am I going? I think I'm going up this hill here. I think I'm going up this hill here. Uh, that is a water log appropriately enough. Can I just take a detour down here? I know I've been wrestling with wanting to do that and not wanting to do that at the same time. But I'm just going to take a detour down here and see what I can find. Perhaps up on these, uh, on these, uh, not maybe cliff things, but yeah, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty cliff-like. Um, I'm going the wrong way. I don't really care. Igna territory, 120 experience. And some AP and some SP, which is not bad. Hello. Oh, wait, you're not people. Where do you think you are going, Sir? Sir? Where do, you, where do you think you are going? Alright, that is what I call a battle. Oh, obviously. But that is what I call a battle that didn't completely suck and take seven minutes to finish. Alright, now. Where am I going? Oh, hi. I guess we're going to deal with you first. This shouldn't take long. Let's just go and mash button attacks or attack buttons or whatever the terminology would happen to be. I'm not even gonna bother cutting this out because I, I don't I don't feel like cutting this out because it's too short. You're gonna be dead in a minute anyway. Thank you and good night. All right. Yes, let's keep going on like this. I got more experience from that battle than like three of the other uh, whatever they were that I fought earlier. There does seem to be so oh come on. There does seem to be some kind of scaled experience uh, equation in this game. Like, if you're a stronger level, you're going to get less experience from fighting everything. Um, okay, fine, since you really, really want to fight. Alright, is that the uh, the treasure chest that I got from there? I think it is. What's this? You look like a same thing that I've been fighting before. This is a uh, a blue radiant. That, that sounds important. You are unique monster music. You're level 28. There's only one of you. Let's have at it. Okay, I think I just barely managed to kill him before before Dunban would get hit by that, that big attack. Okay, that made no sense. Now I don't know what those are, but they sound like uh they sound like really good to use things in battle. Because I don't know, they're loot from a unique enemy and that tends to be good. Um You are like wolves or something. Okay, so you're a vulture, you're a zombie, lizard guy, Argonian, and a, and a vulture, a wolf. Wolf, it's called with a V. Alright, let's do this. I have not heard that one before. Alright, I think that was all that they had to say. Whoa, okay, I, I just fell off a cliff. I just fell off a cliff and somehow didn't die. I somehow didn't die again. Alright, well, I've, uh... I fought a unique enemy. Which I think is enough for now. So let's go where I'm supposed to. And, um, climb up this, uh... Climb up this slope up to the, uh... I love this mist! Oh my god! Uh, through the water, up the cliff, up the slope, what the, whatever I'm saying. I should just start over this video because I have, uh... Not done a very good job talking in it so far. Nah, I'm 20 minutes into it. It's too late for that. Um, you are another one of those wind nebula things, which I'm not too keen on fighting because that took, like, a very long time to do. The last time I fought three of them. Thanks, game. Uh, you're gonna be a... Oh, I thought that was the unique monster music for a minute. But no, that's just uh, a regular monster, which I'm not too interested in fighting. Maybe if I jump out of the water, I'll go a little faster. No. Doesn't look like it. 
Maybe if I jump out of the water, I'll have a little bit more to say. No, I don't think that's the case either. Alright, well, we're out of range of you. And... I see we've got a, uh... Just a little bit farther. Okay. Anything up here? Hello. Chimera Rabbit. Which sounds terrifying. Place of Judgment. Alright, I can see, uh... Hello, whatever you are. This isn't going well. 84. Let's, let's, let's not. I said let's not. Okay, you, you have blow darts. That's another death. Oh, come on, I have to... Why can't I just respawn at the place I just discovered, game? Why can't you have them all labeled on the map like that? Uh. Oh, hey, it's an ether deposit that I just didn't see. Although I'm not sure if I would have been able to... Can I, please? Thank you. Thank you again. I think that's it. All right. A lot of experience for that. Um, I'm not sure if I would have been able to uh, pick that up anyway the first time I came through here because of being in battle. Or being pursued for battle anyway. But nevertheless... We're about through here, and there are 250 meters to the destination. Let's not go after that big guy, shall we? Wool rock. So this is a wool rock. It sure is. Three of them would be warm, because you just go around wearing rocks. Then again, I suppose that's what armor is. Now, if I can knock it into a fight with Mr. Level 84, that would be pretty fantastic. Um, are these caterpiles like that we saw at the beginning of the game? Yeah, let's not get into a fight with Mr. Level 84. Staying as far away from there as possible. What's this? Can I target it? I cannot target it. Alright. So... I guess down this, uh, this little... I believe they call this ge uh, geographic feature a bluff. Like a short cliff. Anyway, whatever it's called, we're going to jump down it and head over to this mock floodgate. Not a mock floodgate, a real one. It just has a slightly funny name. Are those, okay, those are more of those uh, wisp things. I forget what they're called in Paper Mario. They remind me of something in Paper Mario, but I can't remember what it is. So we're all statues. I'm sorry, I said that funny. Statues. What's this? That was not anything. Oh, this is a heart-to-heart. -heart. That's what grabbed my attention earlier. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um. Alright, game! The upper regions are through that entrance. You gotta go through Magna Forest first. Prison Island is at the Bionis Head. Just above Magna Forest. It pains me to say it, but this is the point where I turn back. I must see to the survivors, and I'm also very concerned about Colony 9. I understand. Thank you for everything. I might have said a few things I shouldn't have back in the mine. Forgive me. No, it's okay. I owe you my life, young man. I'll never forget it, heir to the Monado. Medic, will you stay with them? I... I want to help Shulk. The Mekon must pay for what they did. And I'm sure Gado is still alive somewhere. If he is, I have to find him. Find him for me too. Sharla, I want to go with... Oops, I accidentally pressed the B button. Sure? Yeah, I've never seen anything cooler than Shulk smashing Mekon with the Monado. But I'm just slowing you down. No way, kid. You just need to shape up like me. It's okay. I've made up my mind. Compared to you guys, I know I'm pretty useless. But that's cool. Because I know what I can do. I'm going to go back to the colony and help the survivors rebuild their lives. You'll do us proud, kid. Good luck, Juju. Thanks. Shulk, Ryan, keep Sharla safe for me. Dixon, are you leaving too? The Mekon may be gone from Colony 6 now, but that doesn't mean we've seen the last of them. 
When they launch another attack, and they will, Colony 9's gonna need my help. Yeah. I guess you're really needed at the Colony. This ain't the last you'll see of me. You should be all right for now. Look after the Monado. You can bet on it. We won't let the Colony down. You'll make us proud, Shulk. You, on the other hand, need to buck up your ideas. Wow, Dixon. You're gonna protect Shulk. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Dixon. Good luck. See ya. <sighs> Can't say I feel so good about deceiving these kids. What's that you say? Oh, I'm just mumbling. Forget I said anything. And he just goes and walks back into the bog. All right. Help reconstruct Colony 6. Oh, so there is some kind of reconstruction minigame. I'm assuming it's not going to be like a bottom screen idle game like Bravely Default had, but... Hey. During breaks in the story, it returns to Colony 6. Okay, so I guess the door's open now. You! <laughs> All right, the ancient ceremony story story quest. Complete the preparations for the ceremony. I guess I have to. All right. I know that. Can I, can I like sell my garbage? You're just gonna keep talking. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna sell you sell you my garbage. Um, I should probably mention at some point or another, and I don't believe I have or not. That I do know the, the twist at the end. Or one of the twists that you probably Xenoblade veterans are thinking of right now. Um, with some of the characters we just witnessed. And that is very unfortunate that that was spoiled to me. Like I said, I watched uh, someone else's Let's Play this game before I decided to do one of my own. And, um, I don't know. Dixon, he's probably my favorite character that we have encountered so far. I just like the way he talks. Um, and, and among other things, his mustache. Because his mustache I find hilarious. But that's probably not a great reason to like a character, but whatever. Shulk. Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not drown. That's all I'm going to say on that matter for now. Um, there's nothing behind here. The texture's on this wall, my god. They, look, they sure look better from far away, I'll say that much. That's unfortunate. Uh, what's in here? Is this one of those, uh... Is this one of those shrine things that I have to look for? Or whatever they were? Around Satoral? Basin Cave. There's generally... Some, not something here just for no reason. So... What is the purpose of this cave? Uh, I, I meant to say there, things are generally not here for no reason. Rather. Unless you're playing Skyrim, in which case things are kind of just there to make you wonder, like, world building and stuff. But anyway, I see a, a battle. Okay, that's fine. Alright, I should probably go and have a look at, a, at equipment at some point in the future. This looks important. White Radiant. Okay, the quest thing has been updated. These are story quests. Um, offering at the Altar of Fate. Ancient 
Ingen Territory, Dark Swamp, Alter of Fate. I've been to the Dark Swamp before, haven't I? Oh, I see there are uh, quest markers on the on the map. That's cool. Let me just have a look at this at this at this map, and see if I can at least locate the uh, the dark. No. Oh, that was the poison swamp that I was thinking of. Let's see. I'm in here right now. The dark swamp is here, which it looks like I've almost explored too. Except there's this bit of, um, whatever you want to call this. Someone got mad at me for calling it the Fog of War, so I won't call it the Fog of War, but I'll call it the, like, almost Fog of War. Whatever it is, I need to go there. You know, let's teleport back here, skip travel back there, and see exactly what this is up ahead, because I didn't really investigate this. I just kind of ran along the wall and jumped off like an idiot. I assume this is some sort of locked gate. Adulthood emblem. Alright, so I need to- yeah, I need to pick up four things. Um, I'm assuming that on that emblem there's going to be some kind of a cutscene later on. And I think that's a door up there. Which I will probably be able to ascend later. If, uh... If I uh, fill out this quest. Uh, there's nothing back here, is there? There's a waterfall. Oh look, there's a red glowy. I'm glad I came to look. Shulk swim faster. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with saying run faster, that's statue water. Uh, I'm done with saying run faster, now I'm saying swim faster. Uh, anyway, skip travel was invented for a reason. Oh, you know what? I haven't explored everything in Basin Cave so far. Can I skip travel back here? I can't skip travel back there. I want to know where this goes. Because I crossed the bridge and went in there, in that little shrine area. I crossed that bridge. But I didn't follow the river. I want to follow the river. BRB. Okay, I am back here. And we're walking underneath those flying things above my head this time. Um, if I had to guess, this is going to just be a shortcut out to the greater part of the marsh. Yeah, that looks like it's what it's going to be. Probably going to have to jump down a waterfall or something like that. An ether rose. Down a waterfall we go. All right, it's almost like I played this game before. Except not really because whoa, we're staying clear away from you. Except not really because I've uh, I've been wrong about a lot of other things. Now, I see. Where am I now? But I see there's a, a quest marker here, and oh come on. Fine, let me get on dry land first. Get your bird butt out of my face. Oh, okay. I forgot I had this to do. That's a lot of gold I can get from this. Alright. Coppice Codwing. Cop Coppice Quadwing. Nop on Merchant. Um. Let's see. Before I before I go back to the Nop on Merchant, I see the quest marker is uh, just right here. And I've, um, I've shown mixed opinions on quest markers in the past, but boy am I glad that these are here. Because if not, I don't want to be wandering around Satoral Marsh all day. And you know it would take me all day because I am bad at finding things. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to spend like two hours of recording time on uh, just looking for shrines and what have you. This is, oh, is this that poison swamp with that one unique monster that wiped me out earlier? No, this is the dark swamp. This is something else. Oh, come on. Must we really? Oh, dear. I'm taking damage from being in here, am I? Or am I taking damage from these uh, quad wings? Don't put me to sleep. This is bad. Can I get to dry wit? Can I get to dry land? I just want to get to. Oh no, not this guy, not this guy. All right, come. Yes, yeah, Charlotte. Thank you. Where are you? What just happened? Did they chase me all the way through the swamp? Ah, Charlotte has 1337 HP. Did they chase me th all the way through the swamp and then just give up on me? Alright, let's dive back in. Alright, thank god you died. Uh, now let me get out of here. Cracked claw. Okay, 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 okay. 
I am indeed taking damage from the swamp. I am indeed taking damage from the swamp. I don't know if it'll kill me because uh, Dunban is still on 1 HP, but... Alright, we are out of here. No! 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 <laughs> Whatever, let's go back to this guy, because you were the one who was looking for the quad wings. Alright, so I have to kill something else now. Mist Rogals. Rogals, however that, whatever the syllable the accent's on. Alright, that's done. Now... Let's go and not get killed again. Alright, so I think I've killed all the hostile. I see one. I see one. Please stay over there, sir. Please stay over there. I do not want to have to deal with you right now. Oh no, there's another one up there. Well, at least this one's near land. I think. Yeah, these guys are near land. Oh, come on. Oh, you're small. Let me get on dry land first. I seem to be doing less damage in the water, which makes sense. Because... Where are you? There you are. Which makes sense because you can't move as easily in the water. Oh, come on! I just screamed really loudly. I just noticed they're singing in this music. That is amazing. That is a big ether deposit over there. At least I assume it's an ether deposit. Now! Yeah, I'm, you take damage, Shulk. You take damage. See what I care. I actually care quite a lot. Oh, no. Mr. Mr. Big Face of the 26 Poison Brog. You killed me last time. There we go. Okay. That wasn't even a unique enemy, which I guess makes sense because I've seen a couple of them lying around. You are a Dull Radiant. Which is probably going to be important for this thing. Not this thing. Although this thing is going to be catching my eye very much. And that damage sound effect is really obnoxious. Um, but, but this is a... Oh, is this that ever... Uh, is this... This isn't that everlasting ether deposit that someone mentioned a while ago, is it? Because this thing is huge. No, I guess not, because it seems finite. Anyway, that's a large earth crystal. Uh, it's not as shiny now. Hmm. Um, where is the, uh... Where is the thing? It's gone from the map. Stay over there. Yeah, go ahead and circle, but stay over there. Let me look on the map. Is, is the only thing that I needed the, the item that I picked up. Well, the quest marker's gone. Alright, let's head over there, I guess. There's nothing else I have to do? Do I have to climb up there? I want to climb up there anyway. Alright, switchbacks. Hooray for switchbacks and being able to ascend rocks and stuff. Now, what's up here? I see there's a, uh, there's a something on the map. Is that a cave? Yes, I know the quest marker's hovering around out there. Is this a cave? 1960 experience! God! Nick Knife, that sounds important. What is this? I don't know, but it's nice in here. Shining Pond. You got that right. I'm gonna stand here for 30 seconds and record an end slate for, the net, for this video. Alright, enough of that. Ooh, okay, I just jumped down a cliff. And took a lot of damage. And I'm gonna be taking more damage from this poison swamp.
I didn't think this out all the way through, did I? Can I avoid damage by jumping? I cannot. We're almost there. We're almost there. Good job, Sherlock. You made it. All right, now let's go look for the other quest marker. I see you poking your head over that hill. All right, I believe I haven't been here so far up to this point. Altar of Fate. That's cool. I still can't believe how much experience I got from discovering that shining pond. But anyway, that's a brog of some sort or another. And that's going to be a wee bit too slow for me. Now, where's the altar of, of fate or whatever it was called? All right, ancient ceremony offerings, quest complete, story quests. All right, so I have, to, I have the things I'm looking for. It's time to go to the sororal statues, perform the ceremony. That can wait for the next part of this, of this playthrough, though. So for now, my name is Dragonite. I've been recording for 56 minutes. That's long, and I will see you all later.